besides playing with him, which I played with him, I took lessons with him. I remember one thing he taught me in the lesson. We were, we were working on a piece of music. He said, man, you got to remember that you have a lot of time at the end of phrases before you start the next phrase. Because the feeling always is you have to keep it moving. But he, he was showing me how to play this one etude. I think it was Charlie etude number two. And he was taking so much time at the end of the phrases. But it still was in tempo. So uh, of, of, the lessons, of the lessons that I got from him, and that's the thing that, all, that helped me the most, really, in my phrasing, in my playing, how to relax at the end of a phrase. I always feel like you got to be really intense at the end so it doesn't seem like you But there's an intensity in silence. And that's what he was saying. We played uh, the Valdi Two Trumpet Concerto with the Philharmonic. That was great, a lot of fun. That was so many years ago. And then we also did a concert of cornet music out in New Jersey. I did with him, Salvation Army. You know, we were playing uh, a Bride of the Waves and all the kind of great cornet solos from around the turn of the century. Once, I think it was Lou Soloff, John Faddis, me, a lot of trumpet players in New York came to the Philharmonic because Phil was playing the Brandenburg Concerto. This had to be in the 80s. Man, he played so much trumpet that night that when he finished the first movement, we were all like, damn, did you just hear that? You know, I just, he's so consistent and so great. And I've heard him play Mahler 5, Pictures Exhibition, Mathis de Mahler. It doesn't make a difference, man, over the years. The big pieces, I generally will come at least once, sneak upstairs, or get in some kind of way to check him out. And he is so consistent and great. It has been an honor for me to listen to him. I have such love and respect for him.